I was on a mission today to get a lot of things done and that includes making butter at 7 a.m. in the morning. It's so easy to make. Have you made butter before? It's actually incredibly easy to make and you can make so many flavors. Look at that. Now we're gonna make pancakes too. Anyways, let's get started with the stickers that I'm gonna be making in Dali 3, which is Bing by Microsoft, okay? So here's the thing. <laughs> Stickers are so easy to make, but you just have to have everything set up and organized. Now, I have made the stickers ahead of time only for the simple reason that there was a huge wait. So I did have stickers available before. So I didn't even bother to do anything. It's a five minute wait and I said, you know what, forget it. And I don't have any more coins. So I just use whatever I have. I usually, when I'm doing print and cut on my Cricut, I like to make sure that I'm getting the best bang for my buck when I'm using the amount of sheets that I have. So I have my collections, you know, always remember with Microsoft Bing, make sure you have your, save your items and have your collections because otherwise you will never see them again. I really should have been saving it from the beginning. I mean, you could save it on your actual computer, but you know what? On your computer, your cell phone, iPad, whatever it is, these images take up a lot of space. So <clears throat> let's go and see what um, ChatGBT is doing. Again, it's running on the same server and it was getting too full and they couldn't do much for me. So we are just gonna work with what we have. So. These images were really cute actually. So remember, you go here to save your image, you pick the ones that you want, and then let's go from there. Again, I want to remind you that anything that you create in Bing is not for sale, but items that you can create in ChatGBT, you can sell, but again, that is up to you. I just wanna let you know of Pixel Cut, I do not get any money from them, but Pixel Cut will actually be your one-stop shop if you wanna upscale your images and make them more clearer. But I feel like for stickers, it should be fine if we're doing it on a smaller level, so we shouldn't have any, any issues. Pixel Cut does also background remover. So I kind of regret getting this whole entire thing because I know there's free software out there. So, I mean, it is what it is. So let's go over into Canva and let's see what Canva's doing. So I had some images saved over there. So again, Canva for the pro subscription, you can actually remove the background and that's what you need to do. You need to have a transparent PNG in order for you to print these stickers with the outline. If you're not looking to do the actual outline, it doesn't really matter, but if you want that look that you're gonna get in your sticker album or in your planner or whatever the case may be, then you're gonna have to do it that way. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. It looks a little bit different from your desktop, but what we're gonna do is upload all of our images so that we can make them ready for making our stickers. So of course, ooh, look at me and my cinnamon roll. Pick the ones that you want. And again, Cricut allows for you to have a transparent background, but you do have to pay for that. I don't have a paid subscription. I have way too many subscriptions. We're gonna have to scale down in January 2024 because crazy. So now we have our images all ready to be um, set up. So we are gonna go and make that background, which is gonna be clear sorry, which is gonna be um, white. You can change it to any color. So you're gonna to go to edit, you're gonna to go to offset. 0 0.05 is pretty reasonable for a sticker. You, what you're trying to do is create an outer layer so that it doesn't cl cut too close to the edge and makes it very difficult to cut and it will take way too long. So just remember, you gotta make sure you gotta, I'm having issues here with my mouse, but you gotta make sure that we scale it down. So you see how that wasn't working? We gotta fix that. So when you create an offset, you gotta make sure you select both the offset and your actual image, and you gotta flatten it. Otherwise, they won't collect together and they won't print properly. They pro print as two different things. So now we have everything ready to do print and cut. 
So we're gonna actually go to my computer because this is not set up to stay there. Anyways, this is my computer downstairs. So as you can see here, it says that the images are not good quality. So I got a little nervous. So I had to scale them down a little bit smaller and this looks like it'll probably be like a two by two, maybe. I think it'll be each picture will be two by two. So let's see how it prints out. Ooh, it's looking good. I mean, we would have to do some color correction because it does look a little bit off. I would probably bump up the color quality and um, let's just go ahead and print it and cut it, actually cut it now. And you wanna make sure you put it on sticker paper. So my Cricut has been through the wire, okay? I've had this thing for probably almost the same amount of time I've been married. So it was almost like nine years I've had this and it's been amazing. So here we are cutting out everything. And I think it might be a little bit off. So I think I would have to calibrate my settings. So as you can see, it's a little bit off. You can see it a little bit off. Oh, there's my daughter's artwork in the back. Anyway, so I would have to adjust that. So that does happen. You do have to adjust your and calibrate your stuff when you're printing. So just remember that. But nevertheless, we have a sticker. We have a sticker. How cute is that? Never mind the offset, but let's look at it again. So now you have been shown how to make your own sticker using your Bing AI Dally 3 using your Cricut. If you love this type of content and want to see more, don't forget to like and follow and subscribe. Bye.